Right, in this video, we're going to look at this task here, the T-shirt hotspot. Now, we've already looked at how to create a hotspot uh, early on in this series. Um, so the method is exactly the same, but because we have an image that needs to be uh, uh, perhaps uh, edited a little bit, uh, so then there's, there's obviously a different... Um, area of skill involved in this. So it says we need to get this t-shirt PNG. So it's already in PNG, we just need to make sure that the format, sorry, not the format, the size is correct. And then that's gonna go on the homepage. Once it's in the homepage, they want um, the hotspots over the t-shirt, but this hotspot, which links it to the merchandise page, should have the hotspot, hotspot uh, area, the clickable, selectable area to be the same shape as a t-shirt. So let's give that a go. First things first, we're going to open the, we're going to find this image actually, and have a look at it. So we're going to find the t-shirt, it's called t-shirt, there it is. Um, yeah, that's fine, that's that's perfect, so it's just a square, so we don't need, it doesn't look like we need any kind of editing at all, but the size is too large, 11.2 megabytes, they want it to be less than 450, I believe, kilobytes. Yep, 450 kilobytes. So we do need to open it in Photoshop. So file, open, find the t-shirt image. There it is. And once you have it open, we're going to unlock it. Oh, it doesn't seem to have a padlock on it, which is fine. And we're just going to um, change the size. That's all it is. We're going to just reduce the size of the image itself. So we're going to go to file and save for web and devices that's fine yep make sure it says png at the top yeah there we go png 8 and if you look at the size now it is 3.24 m so we're just going to double check that so let's just um press Save for now, and we're going to keep it as uh, as it is. Press save. Yep. Um, no, we're not going to replace it. We're going to actually we need to save it as. So we're going to press save. We're going to put number or v two, so version two. Save, and um, once it's been saved, we can double check that the size is correct. Okay, there you go. Back to the folder, you'll see there's a second version now. If I click on this, 3.25 megabytes. So it is still too large. So, file, save, yes. Check here. Now, if you have any issues um, when you save files and the size is still too large as it was here, so I'm going to put this down for a second. We've just saved this, um, but it's still going to 325 but it's megabytes, we want it to be kilobytes. So we do need to make it smaller. What you do is, I'm, I don't need this, I'm gonna delete that in a moment. Um, in fact, let's delete it now, we don't need it. Yeah, we still got the original one there. And the original one is still open in Photoshop here. And what I've done is instead of just keeping it on PNG 8 and then pressing save, you can actually reduce the size here in terms of percentage. So you can see now that I've put 25%, it's gone down to 242 K, okay, 242 kilobytes. If I was to do um, 35, you'll see that that number should jump up because now that's too big because we want it to be less than 450. So let's put 30 instead and see what that does. There you go, 348, that seems fine. Press save and we're gonna save this as version two. So. If you do have your do get stuck in to uh, uh, in a situation where an image doesn't change to the correct size, always look at that number in the corner. If it's not the right number, 
or below the limit that has been st uh, stipulated by the examiner on the exam paper, then just change the percentage before pressing save. Now I'm going to put this down and you'll see here the new version 2 is 349 kilobytes, which is perfect. Now we just need to throw this in. So we're going to, come, going to come onto the home page and you'll notice that I don't really have space for it. So even though I had this set up before, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of these around. So I'm going to throw this, cut it, come over here, go underneath and paste this instead in there. And we have this space now. Now if I save this, and increase oh, have a look at this this on chrome just to give me an idea of how much space i have to play around with f11 so you can see that can go down a little bit but not too much so what i will have to inevit inevitably do is reduce the size of this picture bring this up to give me more space here going up and going down so let's do that so over here you'll see about 485278 so I can perhaps go in this way again. Bear in mind how much space you you're taking away from the from the right hand side. I can't do this much and have this much. It's going to get too tall. So you want to keep the proportions as close to uh, as it is before. So if you're taking a half a centimeter, a half an inch, or half um, a finger's width off the right, then you should do the same thing on the bottom. So I'm going to just drag it up to about that much there, and then click away. And just to make this a bit, because uh, you know we don't want this blank space here. What I'll do is I'm going to have this uh, to the right instead and push this up. Oh wait, that's why. So we've got uh, no space because of this here. So if I drag this in a little bit, then that should give you more space. There you go. Now all i got to do is throw in this image here just to see how it looks. So insert image and find the new t-shirt version 2. There it is. It's PNG. 350 kilobytes, which is perfect, and we need to write this down. So we're going to say image of t shirt and press OK. And it's far too large, obviously. So, what we're going to do is we're basically going to drag the, uh, bring this in, but um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit just so I can see it better so you can see what we're working with. And we know that it this this here at the bottom cannot go past six seven sixty I believe it was let's have a look go back at the top seven six eight yeah so let's drag this up from the corner to about maybe there but again keeping in mind the proportion so how much am I taking from the bottom how much am I taking from the right so drag it in there we go click away should push it back up again and just keep an eye on that there seems okay but I don't like the proportions of these two images now so this is too small that's too big um, so what I might do is push some of this text over this side here um, hmm we'll have to see so let's just have a look at what, what this looks like on the preview Maximize, Control and S to save, preview on Chrome, and then F11 to see what this home page is looking like now. So you can see it is still too tall, far too tall. So I will have to make this smaller still. And what might be a good idea to maybe use the proportions of this image on this. So let's give that a go. So F11, take this off, go back here, look at the numbers for this. So 419 by 230, go over here, 419. 30 and see how this looks now now this might be a little short but that's fine um, let's just see what it looks like and we can always increase the size of the page after okay f11 okay it's better but it's not there yet so again gonna have to play around with it what I might do is reduce both of the images Yep, reduce both of the images a little bit more. So go back over here, have a look at this here. Now, although here is telling me that I have enough space, we know in fact we don't. So we are going to come over here, reduce this in a little bit more, but that much. 
click away, get the number 366 by 193, 366, 193, there we go, <coughs> excuse me, and let's have a look at what this looks like now, I reckon I could move this, delete this up, <coughs> push this here, because there's more space, push down, and save, and give this a go. F11, and there we go. A little bit more, so I can maybe push this up at the uh, other side, um, and play around with it. So I'm just going to play around with it a little bit more, and then show you the end result. Okay, so what I've done is I've played around it, uh, played around with it by pushing the moving the text from here on the bottom right hand side to the top, having these are two columns of text, and having the images at the bottom. Now I'm gonna change the size of these images to so fill this in a, bit, a little bit more and maybe have it centered rather than on the left hand side. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do now. So F11. we go um, click over here and make sure this says center and make sure this says center and increase it just ever so slightly so maybe add about that much more So that's 404, but before I do that, I'm going to save, go back to Chrome, and see what it looks like. Okay, so, maybe a bit too tall still, but we've got this space here to get rid of, so, I'm going to go back here. Push this in, make this a little bit shorter and then come back over here. So that size I'm happy with, that there is 396 by 218. So go over here, 396 by 218, I believe it was, just double check it. 218, yep, above the same size. And I'm gonna save this and then have a look at the website. And this hopefully should be it for the designing of the home page. There we go. So all we now need to do is basically have a link on this t-shirt to take us to the merchandise page. So let's show you how to do that. <coughs> I'm going to zoom in just so I can see the t-shirt better. There it is. And we're going to use, click on the picture and you're going to go down here and we're going to use the Polygon Hotspot Tool. I'm going to click on that, start off on a corner, and just connect the dots all the way around as best as you can. I'm going to go in there, then up. So I'm going to avoid the hanger. There, there. Now I'm not going to do this as precisely as you can and should, purely because I have less time than you. You're going to go all the way around. And just make sure you have the entire t-shirt. So you're going to go into this gap here, right down to the sleeve, and there we go, done. And then we need the link. Now, for the link, you're going to go, oh no, sorry, we know what it is. We know what it is. It is the merchandise page. So you're going to click on that, and you find the merchandise page, press OK. And that is as simple as that. To test it, let's uh, zoom out 100%, Control and S to save it, and open it back up on Chrome, and take a look. F11, there we go. So the buttons here are all 
operational. These pictures are nice and uh, organized. It's all in one page. And if I move my mouse here, the cursor, you'll see nothing happens, but it says click on the t-shirt for merchandise. So we're going to go, you're going to see how the mouse changes the moment you go onto the t-shirt. And then it goes to merchandise page. And that's how you do hotspots around the t-shirt.